All right, the trick to solving problem two is realizing that it's just asking you to find the frictional force. And the equation for frictional force is just some coefficient mu times the normal force, or the support that the surface has to give to the rope. Uh, and you can see that each answer has mu times something in it. So really, this question is asking you to find the normal force. So let's do that. Set up a system where all we are thinking about is the broom. And we'll draw all of the interactions of the broom as its system with other stuff. So the first interaction that I see is whatever is supplying this tension. So maybe it is uh, a rod that the broom is attached to, like a handle, or I don't know. I can't think of anything other than that. So let's call that tension. And I know that this angle theta is going to be equal to the same angle theta here. And I can break this tension into an x component and into a y component, so t sub x, t sub y. And I know that t sub x is uh, adjacent to the angle, so it will be equal to the magnitude of the tension times cosine of theta. And t sub y will be equal to the tension times sine of theta. That's because it is opposite. Okay, next I think about the interaction this broom has with the mass of the Earth, which gives me the weight force. Now, this system has mass m, so we can just say that the mass times the acceleration due to gravity is the weight, so mg is the weight force. There is one more interaction that this uh, system is interacting, interacting with, and that's with the surface. There are two forces associated with the surface. The force of friction, uh, which resists the motion, and then the normal force of support, so the force that's normal to the surface that keeps it from you know, exploding through the surface. Now, the frictional force is going to be equal to uh, the tension in the x direction, and the normal force is actually going to be equal to the weight plus this downward part of the tension in the broom. So the normal force is what we want to find. And we can actually say that the vertical forces acting on the system add up to zero because I know that this broom isn't going to accelerate down or up from the situation. It could be moving forward. It could be moving backward. Um, it might be accelerating. It might not be accelerating in the horizontal direction. But I do know that the forces are balanced in the y direction. So what I say then is that the normal force, which is the positive vertical force, minus mg minus ty, all add up to zero. <laughs> and then I can add mg and ty to both sides. So I find that the normal force is equal to the weight plus the downward part of the tension. And I don't see ty in any of my answers, but I do see tension times uh, sine or cosine of theta. So what I'll say is mg plus uh, ty is t sine theta. Now then I plug this normal force into my equation for friction, and I find that friction is just equal to mu times mg plus t sine t sine theta, which is equal to this right here, a. Okay. 